Hello, it's me, Tony G. And today we are going to go to the moon again. So today we will have Bob, Hubert, and Meldis Kerman flying this awesome rocket. This rocket has almost 400 parts, so uh, the frame rate is going to be pretty choppy at the beginning. So let's, let's uh, launch this thing. Alrighty, turn on stability control, and let's launch this thing. What the hell is going on? Damn it. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Wow. 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 And yet, they're all still alive. Damn it. The last two launches that I tried this out on, it was fine. I have no idea what happened. Alrighty, attempt number two. Here we go. I'm thinking maybe it wasn't throttled all the way up. I'll have to look at the footage, but we'll see. Blast off. There we go. I don't think I was throttled all the way up when I did it. What a new move on my part. So yeah, I tried to make that uh, make sure that this thing was uh, really stable. I added uh, advanced SAS and a uh, inline reaction wheel right over here. And I forgot what this thing is called, but it's pretty darn stable. Throttle down a little bit to uh, make sure I don't overheat. And I don't know why, I think it's because I have um, the landing module turned upside down. My controlling's all backwards. Left is right, right is left. It's all inverted, I don't know. But, uh, well, since I've been playing this quite a bit, it's, it's pretty easy to uh, adapt to changes like that. So yeah, I want again. I want to thank Webkilla for challenging me, or not even challenging, just suggesting, su suggesting me to make a lander with a rover attached to the side of it. And again, it's not on the actual side; it's uh, below it. But uh, I think I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to land it a lot easier. So now I'll detach those solid rocket boosters. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit slower than uh, my first uh, video trip to the uh, moon, but uh, it's because we have more weight up on the top. But uh, yeah, we'll get up there. Fine. So yeah, um, you guys should uh, give me some more suggestions for what to do next after this video. I, uh, I'm always up for a challenge. <laughs> as long as it's only uh, going to Minmus, Duna, Eve, or Gilly. Because uh, I've barely made it to Moho. Just with a, uh, a uh, satellite probe thingy. It's pretty hard to get to the uh, any planets that are farther than uh, Duna or Eve. Then I'll detach these large fuel tanks. Then I have a smaller one to detach right here. Oh wait, nope, never mind. These four and this bottom one all detach. Awesome. So I'm just going to throttle up just a little bit so I can slowly get away from these. 
to prevent uh, these fuel tanks from breaking my engine. We do not want that to happen. Alrighty, here we go. Nice and easy. Oh, oh, alright, we're good. Let's see, I'm gonna throttle up. I think I'll go until about, uh, mm, this time I'll wait till about 175. I just want it to be relatively, uh, simple to, uh, make a circular orbit. But you know what, I might not even, uh, go for an orbit, I'm not sure yet. But then again, since I've never fully tested this whole rocket as it is right now to the moon, I think I'll do an orbit just to be efficient. And that's good enough. So now I'm going to speed up time just a little bit. Just to get uh, somewhat close to the apoapse. I don't want to be right on top of it because if I do that, it's going to take forever for me to uh, to raise my altitude. I tried it uh, when I was testing this just to orbit the Earth uh, during my test run for this rocket, and it was not going up at all. It was because I waited just a little bit too late for the Apple apps. Right, here we go, full burn. This is probably the most complicated rocket I've ever built. I say this because I usually, lately I've just been making a, uh, just a single landing stage with no rover or no uh, command module needed, you know. And sometimes I'll turn that lander into a, ro a rover, I'll just add wheels to the sides of it and... I'll make it to where I'll have enough fuel to get off the moon and come back to Kerbin. I guess technology back then in for the 60s for the uh, Apollo program was a bit uh, limited in terms of how they were going to be able to deliver the astronauts to land onto the moon. But I'm sure like how they were they were going about it was trying to save on weight for every single stage, so that was a big uh, issue. I think if they were to just carry like the command module, the lander, and a rover down to the moon, they wouldn't have to use a ton of fuel to get back. Alright, just gonna get to the Apple Apps a little bit more. I should have this orbit pretty soon. Alrighty, got that parapsis. Let it go up to about, uh, Let's see, 120? 20 sounds pretty good. Alrighty. So now I'll make my orbital maneuver. Try to get it to the moon. Again, since uh, no one watched my first uh, Kerbal video, I'll tell you this story again. When I first started playing this for the first two weeks, I never used the orbital maneuver at all. Uh, mainly because I was like too prideful. I was like, oh, I don't need some stupid like 
cheat thingy to you know tell me how to get to somewhere I'll just I'll just eyeball it who needs a computer to tell me what to do oh well yes for time purposes I will definitely edit this portion on alrighty we are back and now I've made that moon encounter so let's go for it I shall time speed time speed time warp And, uh, oh yeah, before I do that, I'll quick save. I do not want to time warp too far ahead. Oh, what a horrible, uh, Horrible orbit I have going on there, but I am not going to waste any more fuel than I have to. So, I will, uh, oh, oh yeah, I got to get rid of my, uh, maneuver, which I guess I have. Make sure to always select the light the light. Make sure to always select the right line, kids. Alrighty. Okay. I'm gonna want this to be relatively low all the way around, just so the uh the lander stage could come back and not have to use that much fuel. Alrighty, so now I will speed up time till I get to that apple apse of the moon. And since it will take me so long to do this burn, I am going to probably be doing another uh, video edit. So I'll see you guys in uh, two minutes.